There are basically two methods of testing your gold and silver coins with neodymium magnets. The quickest method is to pass the magnet over your coins, and if any coin sticks to it, you know it's a fake. That's because gold and silver are both diamagnetic materials, which means they are slightly repelled by magnetic fields. Whereas many fake coins out there are made from iron or nickel, which are ferromagnetic materials that are highly attracted to magnetic fields. So now that we've tested these coins, we know they're all real, right? Not so fast. Not all fake coins are magnetic. There are other materials used to make coins that, like gold and silver, are also diamagnetic. Copper, zinc, bronze, and brass, to name a few. So of these laid out here, these are all fake. But you wouldn't know that if you relied solely on the magnet test. So here are two things to keep in mind. First, the magnet test is great for ruling out coins as fake, but not so great for confirming coins as authentic. And second, don't ever depend solely on the magnet test. Always use multiple testing methods. The magnets I'm using are neodymium magnets I bought from Sound Money Metals, which I'll leave a link to in the description. The other method involves observing the interaction between the coin and the magnet. You've probably seen the neodymium magnet slides people build and use to test coins, but while I'm sure those are a lot of fun, you can get the same effect on a much smaller scale without having to build or store the larger magnet slide. All you need to do is prop up your coin at about a 45 degree angle and let the magnet slide down it like so. You can see how it slides down very smoothly on this silver coin. On some fake coins, the magnet will just drop very quickly with no resistance. So whether the magnet sticks firmly to the coin or drops quickly with no resistance, you know it's a fake coin. But once again, this method is not foolproof. As I already mentioned, many of the newer fake coins are made from copper and will behave in essentially the same way silver does. If it didn't have fake copy stamped on it and you relied solely on the magnet test, you would assume this was a genuine coin. Here are the authentic and the fake side by side. So once again, two important points here are first, the magnet test is great for ruling out coins as fake, but not so great for confirming them as authentic. And second, don't ever depend solely on the magnet test. Always use multiple testing methods. Be sure and watch the other methods for testing your coins here on the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.